Gee whiz, we've come a long way since compact SUVs back in the day, even 2014 if you think about it. I'm in the second generation 2008, Peugeot 2008, and I love it. I didn't think I was going to say that, okay? I didn't think that I would because I'm not a big Peugeot fan in general. I think it's something to do with the interiors that I don't love. Um, I don't love this interior either. It's all quite customizable. I've made this all blue instead of red, everything. I love the 3D um, uh, display thingamajiggy here. Um, that is all very cool. I love that. I hate these buttons. Um, they're like buttons, but not buttons. But I do appreciate that they are buttons, not just a touch screen. But that's where like my stuff of like not liking ends because it's bloody comfortable. Peugeot is, Peugeot, Peugeot is quite known for that too. Um, but it's quite spacious in here as well. I've got the baby seat in and the passenger doesn't have to sit with their flipping knees up to their chest um, if they want to sit here and the baby's in. So that's a good thing. That's now sort of my benchmark of spaciousness. Um, the boots at 434 liters. I've got my pram in there, the picnic blankets, the everything, just in case you need it. Um, it's not exactly huge, but it's certainly fine. It's got a two position boot as well. So if you lift it up, you can put some stuff underneath, um, which is always quite handy. I sometimes just wish that you would take, like, just don't have that. I just want the whole boot. I want all the space all of the time, actually. Hmm. So when I say it's comfortable, I love the fact, so this Peugeot, like you're supposed to drive it quite low. I find a fantastic driving position. I think taller people have struggled. Um, my favorite thing about Peugeot just in general, but it's this 2008 as well, is this small steering wheel. I love it. Some people hate it. I don't see why. Um, I suppose maybe it doesn't make you feel like you're driving like this big car. I love it because it makes it so easy to maneuver. Um, and just makes it like just a like a lovely compact drive even though you're in a more spacious sort of you know compact SUV you still feel like do you know what I mean you can nip it into places and stuff which is I love that okay so that's one of the main things this color everything about this car Tiffany <laughs> same very different blue but whatever we've got nothing in common the world has come between us so it's got a 1.2 litre turbo petrol. I'm in the GT model, which is the top of the range. You've got an auto in here. So that means you're getting 96 kilowatts of power and 230 newton meters of torque. If you get one of the other models, if you get the manual, um, that comes in, I think you get 74 kilowatts of power and 205 newton meters of torque. So you're getting a little bit more of a punchy engine in this guy, um, which again has been or is fantastic, especially around town. It's like a city car for me, like a commute car, a family car, um, like the one parent car. Do you know what I mean? Like I think again, I'm always like compact SUV, amazing, but sheesh, if you could have a bigger one when you go away, there's just no car that's spacious enough, actually, if you've got family and kids and everything, but I think for this every day, bloody fantastic. Okay, so pricing starts at just under sort of 360,000 Rand. You go up to 480 when you're looking at this sort of top of the range model. You're then playing in the sort of Seltos um, game. <laughs> T-Rock, even like the really like lower, like the entry level T-Rock you could get yourself. But this again, is at the top of the range, you know, so yeah. And just recall, I mean, look, compact SUVs can be a little bit tricky because there are so many and they're vastly sort of priced. And so you go from like an Eco Sport, which this would be considered a competitor if you look at compact SUVs, but pricing and even space, it's not. Hmm, something to bear in mind. You could also look at something like the Volkswagen T-Cross R-Line, um, which comes in about 20,000 and cheaper um, than this. Than, but again, I think this is always my advice, and I'm very good at giving advice, not so good at taking it, but being good at giving it, is go and drive them. Take your shit with you. Take your prams, take your bikes, take your canoes. I don't know what the do. Take all of that shit and go and test them, not just driving, but like how the space works for you. Because that's the only way you're going to be able to say whether this car is going to fit your lifestyle. So, but that is my amazing advice there. Yeah, okay. And I said, what about breakfast at Tiffany? She said, I think I remember the 
the final act, and I recall I 